Yeah, hello. Yes. Yeah, I've just come on your show just to discuss uh, about Islam. All right. So you're a Muslim, my friend? Yeah, I'm a Muslim, yeah. Okay, what do you think about the Muslim? They claim that Quran is full of miraculous stuff. Yeah, that's true. Like what? There's many things like, for example, in the time of the in the time of the the Prophet, um, no one knew about, you know, the, you know, in the Quran is mentioned about uh, embryology. So in the the way our baby looks in the stomach of our mother, okay. uh, can you give me a, can you without give me a science verse? you won't know. No um, can you give me a verse so we can take a look at it, please? Yeah, just one moment. No problem. Just <clears throat> pull it up one minute. Do you, do you want me to help you? I can help you. you. Go to chapter 23, verse number 14. Yeah. Okay. So this is the one you are looking for, right? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. Okay. So read it for us, please. What it says. Which one? Chapter 23, verse 14. You said this is the one you are looking for. Yeah, so he says that uh, so he created the um, sperm drop mm -hmm. and then it was, the sperm drop was uh, yeah, so he made us sperm into a clot of congealed blood. Then, mm. of that clot, we made a uh, lump. Then we mm. made out of that lump bones and clothed the bone and with flesh. Mm. Then we de uh, developed out of it another cre uh, creature. Um, so blessed be Allah, the best of best to create, mm. to, to best to create. Mm. So this is the, this is the so science now. This is science for you. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely science. Huh. The way Allah, the way Allah described it uh, of um, of the what do you call it, the lump in the in the uh, mother's belly. The way it was exactly perfect as, so as a perfect. So according to you, science uh, agree that the sperm became a blood. Um, into a clot of congealed. Yeah, that's right. Hmm. What what science says that? Can you show me any reference? Uh, no, I don't have reference to. So, how, how you know that this is what the science says? I mean, this is this is not smart because the sperm will not transform to be a dead blood. Congeal the blood is dead blood, and dead blood is dead blood. That's it. Doesn't grow. Doesn't do anything. Is dead. No, there's other reasons. This is just one of them, um, which I point out. Obviously, I don't, I don't know full uh, details about this, but there's many reasons why the Quran is uh, miraculous. Oh, but you are the one who chose this one for me. Remember, it's not me who chose it for you. So yeah, yeah, that's fine. I can choose. Okay, uh, different. So yeah, I mean, so are you, so do you agree now? This one is a lie. Is not true. No, I need to uh, do more research on it. Okay, but hold on. Forget about the sperm transform into a congealed blood, which is very funny. Then it says. That the clot became a lump, and then the lump became bones, and then we closed the bones with the flesh. So, do you think really that Allah He made you as bones, and then at the end He clothed you with the flesh? Do you agree with that? It was the process how it how it was. So it was a lump, then bones, and then there was um... one moment. If you want to ask like for help or to call a friend, it's okay. Yeah, could you say that again? I'll just call okay. busy. So according to the verse, according to the verse, I don't know if you can see my screen. Allah He made you like this. And then at the end, He cover you with the flesh. Do you agree with that? Yeah, I agree with that, yeah. So the, the way the way it was done, um, but I, I don't know too much detail about that. So I would rather go to a different topic. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I know, but you are the one who chose it. But I mean, this is very funny because how he said that he made you bones, and then after that he close he closed you with the flesh. <laughs> Where is the heart? Where is the so now? We we are just bones. 
So you Muslims, you copy paste. They told you that the embryology in the Quran, embryology in the Quran is amazing, etc. It's just the most silly, stupid thing ever. Okay, I will give you a chance to change the topic. Give me something else. Forget about this one. So this one looked like it is Allah was wrong, and Allah cannot be God. Now, give me something else. The preservation of the Quran. Preservation so the of the Quran. The the... That's wonderful. How the Quran was preserved. So the way the Quran preserved, or uh, you know, for generations, mass transmission. So the Quran came down uh, in tr mass transmission, and uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, normally you would expect mass transmission to um, there should be an error in it, but, but because uh, because it came from Allah, there's no error in the Quran. There's only we only have one book. We just showed you an error. What are you talking about? Didn't we just show you? In the same verse, there's at least five. That's, what, that's according to your. Five. Yeah, that's no, according that's to your according opinion. To me, you are the one who said to me miraculous and science, and we go, we go there. This is error. Same time, the Quran was collected by Muslims, correct? Pardon? The Quran was collected by Muslims. Is that correct? Um, so yeah, it was collected by the Sahaba as a companion. Okay, uh, where is the Quran of the Sahaba? The Osmanis. Um, where, where is the Quran? Uh, it's, it's, where is the Quran of Osman? Do you have it? It's it's uh, verbally. Um, what do you call it? Um, it was memorized. So how you pasta. how you say we collect it, but it's verbally memorized? What kind of what kind of collection? This collection? Why you don't have a book? You don't have manuscript. It's collected as well. So it's it's even if there wasn't, for example, just for argument's sake, if you said there's no book, uh, you still um. You still what do you call it preserved uh, verbally? Okay, well, how it's preserved verbally? I want you to give me the, the verses of stoning to death. Pardon? I want you to give me a verse, the one which Muhammad he received from Allah to stone women to death for adultery. Do you have it? Uh, stone women to death. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, don't, I'm don't, not sure what Muslims, you don't you Muslims agree that if a man or woman they commit adultery and they are married, they have to be stoned to death? Yes. Yeah, that's right. Okay, this is a verse in the Quran. It was in the Quran. Where we can find it in the Quran? Um, no, I'm not way. sure what you're referring to. Are you, talk, are you talking about the hadith where it comes in the hadith? No, this is a verse. This is a verse in the Quran. Quran used to have verses of stoning to death, verses about a breastfeed for adult. Many verses are gone in the Quran. We cannot find them. And as you see, it must have been abrogated. The seven verses they've been abrogated. How, how you abrogate the verse by deleting the verse from the Quran? You told me you reserve it because there's verses in the Quran, they are abrogated, but they are in the Quran still. Why you are why you are and by the way, it's not abrogated because stoning to death is a practice of Muslims today, it's not abrogated. So what do you no, mean? No, the abrogated? seven verses in the Quran, uh what do you call it? They were the the same verse they abrogate the same verse Allah can take out any time. That this is this was not uh this is a period when the revelation was coming. Uh, it's, it, it's not that we can do it now. It's it was, this was a period when Allah was okay, uh, sending you, the revelation. Did Uthman burn other Quran when he collect the Quran as you claim? Yep. Okay. How the Muslim preserve the Quran but they burn the Quran? So what he did was uh, there was a. Uh, uh, it's because the Quran came about, I think it was seven dialects. Mm. So the Quran came in different dialects. So people were getting confused. So what he did, he, he, he compiled um, all the dialects into one book. Um, so it makes it, it makes it easy for people. Okay. Uh, so and you are then, saying so, to me, so you are saying to me, Allah, he caused people confusing by sending seven dialects and it was a mistake and Uthman, he corrected Allah. No, nah, it was a mistake. So why they Allah, are confused then? Because they were getting confused because some people were because the new Muslims that are coming in, into Islam they were they weren't learning enough. So um, hmm. so, well, so well now this the, is well, a process. with the new with the new Quran with the new Quran of Uthman, when you say he put the seven dialect together, what does that mean? I mean, what, what does that mean? He wrote the same verse to seven times? No. Nah. So what does that so, mean? So 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 the way you wrote the verse, you could read it in, in different ways. So it, it, the 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 Zabar Zair page. Um, you can read it in different ways. Okay, let me ask you, what is the first chapter Muhammad he received as a prophet? The first verse or chapter? The chapter or verse is the same. The verse was uh, Surah, uh, Surah um, what do you call it now? Surah Alaq. Mm -hmm. Okay, is that is that now the first verse in the Quran? Yeah, that was the first verse. Okay, but now is it in the first verse in the Quran? 
the order uh, the prophet told the companion to order it in a different well, can way can you show me the reference that he ordered them to do so uh let me just check i will, I will, I will, I will give you 20 years nonetheless um uh, while I'm finding it, nonetheless, he was a companion of the Prophet, hmm. so he had a, he had authority to um, so compile it. And he have authority to alter the Quran. That's wonderful, guys. If he is a companion of Muhammad, if you are a friend of Muhammad, you have authority to change the Quran. That's wonderful. What? No, no. He was told. He was told by the Prophet. To, wait, 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 wait. Who, okay, even if, even if the Prophet, who is the Prophet who have the authority to change the Quran of Allah? If Allah gave it to him in such a way, who is even Muhammad? To change how Allah gave it to him, Allah inspired him to uh, show me where Muhammad says that. Way. This is a big fat lie, my friend. There's nowhere it says that. Who says what? He is inspired by Allah. Everything that, that everything he said that, that he said that he Allah. said to Uthman, change the way the Quran is made. The Quran actually in chapter seventy-five, verse number seventeen, Allah said, "Inna alayna jamahu wa Quranahu." It is for us to collect the Quran and to recite the Quran. It is not the duty of you Muslims. Whatever the Prophet says or those is revelation. My friend, show me where your Prophet said, write the Quran. The first chapter is Al Fatiha. Show me. He won't say it like that, but he'll say so, that. So, so uh, you are he saying was to given... me that you Muslims you fabricate your own Quran and you 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 made it the way you wish. No, the order of the Quran has been um, uh, told by the Prophet to do show it. Show me. The Prophet by Allah. I tell you to show me where he said that. Oh, here one minute. Okay. Give, Give me a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Give you until next year. Do you like to call uh, Sheikh Hamza or Estaz Jama'a Jama from Nigeria or Zakir Naik or anyone? What do you like to call? Call Zakir Naik if you want. <laughs> Zakir Naik, you have an answer for everything. Mm -hmm. Shall I take a nap and come back later? Yeah, take a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you are funny by the way you will not find it my friend there's no such a thing there's no such a thing Quran never preserved it's a big fat lie the Muslims they claim <clears throat> no it's definitely preserved um, just need to find it and maybe I can send in the comment section maybe if you want show me you can send me if you have something even I will put it in the screen if you have. Muslim, they keep, you know, they, they copy paste. But I, all reference prove that the Quran never been preserved. Never, never. Actually, all reference says the opposite. I can show you tons of reference saying totally the opposite. <laughs> Yeah, it says here, um, the present arrangement of the Quran is not the work of later generations, but was ma uh, made by the Prophet Sallallahu on the cause directions. Really? Whenever a chapter was revealed, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam describes to whom he carefully dictated his contact and instructing them where to place his re revelation. Mm -hmm. So what he did was when the revelation came, he, he, he told them where to put it. Okay, so you have the Quran of Muhammad or Quran of Uthman? Well, Uthman did he um, when it was in seven, when it was in the seven di dialects, he did the, he made it into one uh, book. But your prophet, he said the people cannot handle it with one dialect. Yeah, so the same people they could still read from the same book, but it wasn't confusing. So the people so were saying let us that. Let make it know. clear. Same Pardon? people they need seven dialect to understand the Quran. Many nations they cannot understand from one Quran. I mean, how how funny that is. So, Arab who speak Arabic, they are in a small village, a small town is called Mecca. Still, they need seven Quran to understand the Quran. But no, no, they, they, could, they could understand it. They couldn't recite it because of that uh, the tongue, the way the tongue. The what tongue? They are the same. Recite. The same. The same people. What are you talking about? We are Arab. We are the Arab, and we are the same people. So why we need seven Quran? If, if the Arab needs seven Quran in order to understand the Quran or to recite the Quran, a guy from Pakistan, how many Quran he need? 
It was it wasn't the seven. No, it wasn't the seven Qurans. It was uh, seven dialects of certain words. No, it was seven, words Quran, they seven dialects. It means seven Quran, my friend. The word is different. The whole, the whole thing is different. Let me show you. You you say to me that the Quran was preserved. That the Quran says the Quran never been preserved. And Allah, even Allah, actually Himself, He caused you to forget the Quran. Isn't it Allah in the Quran? He said that we cause you to forget the Quran. He he did what? Cause you to forget the Quran. Yeah, he caused he caused the Prophet to uh, forget the Quran because Why? that was the, that was the basic uh, that's one way of obligation. Why? Because certain certain things um, they, they weren't needed, so he was taken back. But there is many verses in the Quran are not needed. Why you why Muhammad we memorize them? So actually, more than eighty percent of the Quran is not needed. Re read me carefully. It says. None of our revelation we do we abrogate or cause to be forgotten, but we substitute something better or similar. What is the wisdom of that? Well, what do you mean? Is this is the way Allah wanted to do? What do you mean? It says here that He will cause you to forget to make something similar. So what the point? So let us let us make it simple. I will say now, I will make you eat shish kebab. Now I will make you forget what I just said to you, and I will say again. I will make you eat shish kebab. So why I made you forget the first sentence if it's the same as the second sentence? No. So what? Why was uh, he, he? Allah revealed a revelation for that uh, for that moment, and then he abrogated it and he replaced it with something better or something similar. So you are saying to me, okay? Did you say aren't you the one who said something better or similar? Did you say better or similar? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. what I said. How the Quran can be better than the Quran? It was a ruling. He's talking about the revelation, the ruling, whatever it is. The okay. ruling was. So you are saying to me that Allah, He is fixing some mistakes He did, so He is going to give us something better. So He gave us a rule, and then He noticed that those rules are stupid, so He decided to make it better. No, that's not true. So what better? What mean? happened was, so, so what He did was He He revealed the revelation, and mm. then the revelation fitted for that moment only. Mm. So then he then he, uh, for example, one of the one of the rulings that, for example, don't, um, alcohol. So mm. one of the rulings that you, you talk him to the sal uh, salah with alcohol. So mm. it was slowly by slowly. Uh, uh, but the, the ruling of coming. alcohol, he did not cause you to forget them. Here we go. Both of them, they are in the Quran. The Quran yeah, but they said, were uh, the 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 verse itself was abrogated afterwards. My one friend, of the doesn't verses. matter. That's not what I'm saying to you. Here is talking about to be forgotten. What the point of making you forget something if you will make something similar or better? How is that can be? Why? He will cause you to forget. Why he want to cause you to forget? No, what I'm saying is that there is a ruling. It's, it's, it's a ruling for that time and period. That's, that's not the question. Here we go. The Quran, as an example, there's verses that praise the alcohol, saying it's a miracle of Allah. And there's verses saying that don't pray when you are drunk. And there's verses saying don't, don't, don't drink at all, correct? Yeah. Okay. See, three of them in the Quran. Allah did not make us forget them. Allah did not delete them, but they are abrogated. One abrogating the other one, no problem. But here he's saying, any verses we cause you to be forgotten. What? What is the purpose to make you forget the word of Allah? If Allah, He promised you to preserve the word of Allah. Doesn't matter if it's going to be valid or not anymore. There's more than eighty percent of the Quran is not valid no more. So. Why you want to make us forget the, the 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 verses? You have to you have to point to an example where where this um the the way the way you're saying it took place. I'm saying there was, it was a situation where he revealed it and it was no no longer applicable. So then you but no problem, my friend, take but it I just showed you example. There's verses until now in the Quran and they are not to be practiced. As an example, yeah, but to be peaceful, but it's, it's Allah to be choice, peaceful. If Allah chooses to do this, either way, he could do it whatever uh, so way. The Quran, he can no, the do Quran, that, could the do Quran this. saying that Allah, He made you forget the Quran, which means the Quran no way is preserved because according to Islam itself, according to Quran, Allah Himself caused the Quran not to be preserved by making you forget in the Quran. So now, according to this verse, there's many verses was in the Quran. Now you cannot remember it, correct? No, the, they weren't supposed to be the final revelation. So whatever Allah made forget that it wasn't meant to be for the final revelation. So the it, final. It doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter, my friend. There is verses Allah caused you to forget. Is that true or not? Either you say yes or you say no. No, he didn't cause me. He didn't cause me to forget. Who, who caused who then? He caused the prophet to forget. So and you you get your Quran from who? Yeah, the prophet. Okay, so the Quran forget you forget it too. <laughs>
so now we have Quran which is missing and Allah himself he do not know uh, uh, or let us say he calls you to, to forget them now let us see if the Quran is preserved do you know the story about the goat eating the Quran no the goat eat the Quran but then uh, the hadith uh, that the, um, the was a, the goat uh, ate the, the Quran piece that doesn't t take anything away from uh, Islam Okay, so where is the verse of starting to death? Here we go. The goat ate it, and now we cannot find the verse. Yeah, that doesn't take anything away from Islam. Allah allowed take, that. Uh, take, you uh, you, you Muslim, you say to us, the Quran preserved, and there is verses of stoning to death and the breastfeeding for adult ten times. We cannot find them in the Quran. They were meant to be in the Quran. It's simple as that. But, but by, not meant to be in the Quran by who? By Mrs. Goat. Mrs. Goat decide that I'm going to eat them so they will not be in the Quran no more. Otherwise, show me the verses. Show me where your prophet say don't write the verse of a story to death in the Quran Show me where your God saying don't write the verses of a breastfeeding for adult in time in the Quran Allah's Allah's all knowledgeable and he's all wise So, so, so he, he allowed me, that to happen. So maybe so maybe Allah Maybe Allah is the one who sent the goat to eat the Quran. So those verses will disappear. What do you think? It was meant to happen that way, so that's how it happened. It's, okay, it's so, like so we can say uh, Allah so sent him. Say you know, like the, a, the goat was a messenger of Allah, and the goat ate the Quran as an order of Allah. No, this is no proof for that. So well, that's just okay. you know, isn't it everything so Islam is based by the the will of Allah? So you could say even the rape is by the will of Allah. Okay, so, so you, okay, but that so doesn't now make the any goat, sense. Let us focus on the goat. The goat who ate the Quran was it by the will of Allah or against the will of Allah? So Allah allowed it, allowed that to take place. That's what He did. So He allowed the way He allows murder to take place, even okay. though it's wrong. So now Allah allowed allowed the, uh, allowed the goat to eat the verses, and He did not allow the Muslim to remember the verses. So, so He abrogated it. No, 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 my friends, so, no, this is not abrogated. You Muslims until now practice stoning to death. What are you talking about? Until now, in Islamic law, aren't you a Sunni? You are a Sunni or Shia? Uh, Sunni. Okay. Sunni and Shia, actually, both of them, they practice stoning to death. So it's not abrogated. Can you can you tell me, can you recite for me the verse of stoning to death? Um, don't know that. Okay. So the goat ate the Quran. Did the goat ate you too? You Muslim, you say that the Quran is preserved in our heart. And now you practice stoning to death, but you don't have the law which is saying to you, practice it to death. Practice the stoning. So now, I was, I was, uh, the, I was uh, show me another book that's been preserved by millions, uh, by has been memorized the whole book by millions of people. Show me another book. What book? Show, show me uh, another religious textbook where it's been memorized by friend, millions of people. The Jews, the Christians, my mother, she memorized the whole Bible by heart from cover to cover. I said million of people. No problem, but you know that the, you Muslims you learn that from the Aramaic. The Aramaic they sing their, their the Bible singing. They sing it all of it. They sing. They sing it. The whole Bible is a song. The whole Bible for them is a song. And Muhammad, the recitation of the Quran today is exactly what the Aramaic people how they recite the Bible. As simple as that. The, now, the, now the Quran is, my, my is friend, such a, such a miracle friend, you okay, can make a person on, cry. On. The Quran, and, uh, the Quran, which is preserved. Do you see in the front of you in the Hadith it says that Allah He sent order as a verse of a breast feeding for adult do you see it yes yeah, yeah. okay how in the world your god if he's a true god he order a woman to give her boobs to an adult man to suck it and he's a stranger uh what are you talking about now the breast feeding for adult how your god is a true god yet he order a woman to give her breast to a stranger which is a man who is not her from her family he is not her husband to suck her nipples 10 time in different 10 days until he is satisfied what kind of god this god who preserved your book um this this a scholar said that this uh, refers to um um the milk going in a bottle instead of uh, what? Uh, our friend, it's, it's, it's an not, adult it's man. A... It's an adult man. Adult man. Adult man. What milk in the bottle? What? It says suckle. Do you know what suckle? Arda'i. Arda'i is not a drinking. So suckle him. And this woman, she don't even have milk. She is not that young. 
in order to have milk you have to have babies did you have to be a woman she deliver a child women they don't have milk anytime you squeeze their, their their nipples they have milk there they are not a refrigerator who you open it and there's a bottle of milk and you you drink from it it says suckle him he didn't say give him your milk suckle him it doesn't matter what suckle suckle your nipples yes firstly there's no um what do you call it? it it's <laughs> firstly i've been told that this is supposed to go in a bottle and that and there's no my there's friend, no uh, this sexual, is a lie there's no, this there's is no, a lie there's nothing sexual i about challenge it. you to show me one person one scholar he said this is about suckling in a bottle this is what the muslim they try to say today because this is shameful Uh, the scholar, I can show you a link where my friend, you show me link. the scholar and I will get them busted in a second because your prophet explain it. Yeah, I can show you, I can show you what you call it. Um, Let me show you too. Let me show you. They are I lying. Show you the explanation you. Of, the, of the no, they cannot explain it. They are liars. If you want me to show me a scholar, show me a scholar, not a link written by uh, 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 some idiot. Scholar, let me someone like a Tabari, Al Qurtubi, a Jalalain, Ibn Kathir, show me. No problem. Show me no, a scholar. I'm not talking about that. Okay, scholar. so those, those are not scholars. Anyone who wrote those articles these days is just to avoid the, the scandal of Islam. They are not a scholar, they are a scumbag. So if you want to show me a scholar, name a scholar. A scholar is a scholar. Those who they are exist long time ago, and all the Muslims agree with them for centuries. Suddenly, nobody want to read their books. Now, no, this is a video a prophet, on the Sunni defense. My friend, what Sunni defense? A Sunni, a Sunni, a Sunni idiot. Because you're a prophet, so my friend, you're a prophet. He explained it. The woman, he said to the woman, suckle him. Do you know what suckle him? Do you know what the word suckle mean? Like I said to you, you're supposed to go in a glass. Um... My friend, don't tell me drinking from a bottle. At that time, even there was no bottle. Secondly, he said suckle him. Does it say the word suckle him or it says different word? I'll post the link now. Just watch don't the post video. a link. Read for me. Does it say in the front of you, suckle him? Um, yeah, so it says so cool, yeah. Okay, suckle is not drinking from the ball. In different hadith, your prophet he said the breastfeed him. Does it say that? Says what? Breast feed him. Um, yeah. Breastfeeding. Okay. So, so what the drinking from the bar? <laughs> and this is why the woman she was going crazy. How I'm going to do breastfeeding for the guy and he's an adult man. Otherwise, Muhammad he said, Don't worry, just give him a cup of milk and he would drink it. This is what I meant. He didn't say that. She said, How I'm going, no, how I'm going to breastfeed him is it, and he is a grown man. Huh? One interpretation goes in the cup. Se secondly, it's not sexual because after after this takes place, um, that person becomes a uh, a relative. So false, that person can never false. get married. Or you can search in the internet. Other. No, this is a big fat lie. There is no way. There is no Muslim scholar in the world agree that if a person suckle an adult suckle, he will become forbidden. The forbidden Islam for but after suckling is only for an infant, not for an adult. This guy is an adult. So they are lying to you again, my friend. Yeah, anyhow. Okay, so now we notice that the Quran, which you claim is a preserve, is not a preserve. Did I actually say that the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah? What was that? Say that again. Did I actually say that the chapter of Al-Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al-Baqarah? Um, I haven't read that before. Hmm? I haven't read that before. Okay, I can show you a reference. Let me show you some reference. And what's the point of that? What was the point you're making? Well, the point is very simple. If the chapter of Al Ahzab used to be equal to the chapter of Al Baqarah, that means there's more than 200 verses are gone in one chapter alone. So when Aisha she says such a thing. And you say to me that the Quran is preserved. That's that's a, that's is a very silly statement. Where is that? No, that could that could mean that could be anything. That could mean if you look in, in context, you could say that that could mean um, it's been abrogated by Allah. My friend, this is what I, I actually said. It was 
it was in the size of etc what abrogated this is this is what they have this is what they have if you let me show you do you know arabic uh no no i know some words, some words. okay no problem read only carefully you can i will give you the link you can translate in google all right it says uh قال لي ابن ابن أبي كاب etc. I ask him, what is the numbers of the verses in Al-Ahzab? He said, twenty-seven verses or thirty-seven verses, and he said, and if it was equal to Al-Baqarah, it was equal to Al-Baqarah, and we used to read for it in the verses of a stoning to death. I said. And what is the verses of the stoning? He said, is a Zana Shaykh was Shaykh for Jumuhuma, etc. Then we go down. Let us see what Aisha she said. Let us see. Here we go. Anna Aisha called Aisha. She said, Can I sort of have to grow fees? I mean, the bee is all the law. He was a lamb. Ma a tay aya. Felema Kataba Uthman al Masahif. Lam yak der minha illa alama who are who will an the Ahzab was in the time of the Prophet, which means until he die, two hundred verses. When Uthman he collected his own Quran. He could not collect more than what he have today. What do you say about that? What's the reference? Here we go. This is the reference. al Utqan fi ulum al-Qur'an by the Imam Jalaluddin Abdul Rahman Abu Bakr al-Suyuti. Variant number one, page number 662. Yeah, I don't know if that's uh, okay. reliable. I can give you, I can give you at least four to five hundred reference from islamic books about the corruption of the quran that's totally incorrect you won't be able to i will not be able to from uh, hadith from sahih hadith well those are lies you won't be able to from sahih hadith okay let us see if we can find from sahih hadith or not the hadith about the the goat ate the quran was it sahih or no yeah, that was a he, but I don't regard that as a, okay. that was your interpretation, uh, okay. in, you know, interpolation. Okay, let us go and see if we can find in Sahih Hadith any corruption for the Quran. Now, if I show you from Sahih Hadith corruption of the Quran, what you will do? There won't be any correction. Okay, if I if I find you, let us make a challenge between me and you. If I find you from Sahih Hadith corruption of the Quran, what you would do, my friend? It's impossible. Okay, it's impossible as you said, no problem. But if it is possible, what you will do? It's, it's a scenario, it's, it's, it's like impossibility. So it's, you're telling me to start about as long as it's state. impossible. So you will not be worried if you say, I will leave Islam if you find it for me, right? Yeah, but I will never leave Islam so, mm -hmm. because I'm uh, certain about my faith. What do you mean? You just said it's impossible. So why you are worried? You say it is impossible to find corruption in the Sahih Hadith. Yeah, you won't be able to find corruption. In your in your opinion, it will be corruption, but what I'm saying in my opinion, it won't be a corruption. It will be abrogation or something like that. Mm, okay. So it doesn't matter even if I show you tons of reference from Sahih Hadith, you will not you will not leave Islam, right? Yeah, I will never leave Islam because your interpretation will be totally different. You show it and then you'll say it means this, means this, means this. But you obviously won't be it will mean that. Okay. Let us see. You see my screen? Yeah, I see it. Okay. Do you see here 
عمر سين I swear by Allah had it not been so that the people might say Umar made an addition to Allah book I'd ha I would have written it there he was going to write there what so so, so who says Umar Umar is talking he swear by Allah that there is something he would love to write in the Quran, but he is afraid that he is. If you're right, people will say he's adding something to the Quran. What he was going to write? Yeah, you just read from the start. I want to see what's the context. And where is this narration? Hmm. Uh, so where is this uh, narration? This narration is a sahih. This is a sahih hadith. He's talking about the verses of his story to death. So Umar, um, Allah sent the Prophet with the truth. Uh, and the verse story was included. We already memorized it. The messenger had, the peop um, had people stoned to death. And we have done it also since his death. I am afraid the people might say with the passage of time we do not find the verse of stoning in the book of Allah and thus destroy it by ab abandoning a duty which Allah has received. Duty the uh, stoning the duty laid by Allah for married men. So yeah, you can go down a bit. We had to memorize the. So here the verse was abrogated, but the ruling. Uh, so so yeah. So what's the problem with this? The problem is not. It is not there. Omar himself, the caliphate, is <laughs> he said this is a. There is a problem here. Don't you see? He's saying this is a verse we receive it from Allah, Allah, Allah Messenger, and he did not say to us, take it off. But now he's afraid if he is going to add, because Umar, uh, Uthman is the one who wrote the Quran, he's afraid if he add it, people will say he is adding it. So now Uthman, he made a mistake, he did not add the verse. Uthman is the one who collected the Quran. Umar now is saying, we have a problem. I'm afraid that people will say, oh, the verses of starting to death is not in the Quran. Why is in the Quran? And he went how, do, how do you know this was the time of uh, Uthman? This is not in the time of Uthman. Uthman is the one who read the, the, the uh, Uthman is already he mowed the Quran. Omar is, is complaining that the verses of stoning to death is missing. And he would no, love to, he would love to add it if he's a prophet saying, you see, he did not say the prophet said take it off. He did not say the prophet told us not to add it. He did not say the prophet said to him do it this way he said i would love to add it i swear by allah had not it been to so that people might say this is the only concern he have that people might say omar made an addition to allah book i would have written it there so yeah so he's yeah he's basically highlighting the importance of the the ruling because maybe people are neglecting highlighting, it, like, no says. he is highlighting the verse which is missing the ruling he knew the people they knew the ruling what is missing is the verse. he says they're neglecting it or they were what what is missing it. my friend the, the he, what he want to write the ruling or or the verse he want to write the verse in the quran the ruling is known yeah it says here, i am afraid the people might say with the passage of time that we do not find the verse so he was worried about the that people people who say look there's such a big ruling uh, about stoning and it's not in the quran so so that's the reason he he, he was um, as, as you can see in the narration he's worried about it but but obviously he's just highlighting the importance of it yeah so it's it's missing and your prophet never no, said don't try it that. abrogated that's what it was it's not abrogated he's practicing it what's wrong with you <laughs> the muslim they practice no, the stoning to death until now because stop saying no. abrogated 
the verse was taken, but the, the ruling remained, so the ruling stayed behind. My friend, how you take, the what is the wisdom of taking the verse, but you keep the ruling? How crazy is that? Imagine we have the law, we, the law stay, but we, we delete the law. I mean, this is a crazy. If, as long the, the ruling, exists, as long the ruling, the, the, the ruling the coming from where, my friend? The ruling coming from where? From the verse, correct? The ruling can come from the Quran or Hadith. Okay, no, come from the verse itself. Allah, He gave ruling, correct? It's a verse. It was a yeah, verse. He okay. Yeah, gave so the verse, the verse is the ruling. How you delete the verse? What is the wisdom of deleting the verse? And the ruling is is, is to follow. There is no wisdom. You can't say there's no wisdom. There Tell me the wisdom, 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 wisdom. Okay, I say to you, you cannot drive when the right the 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 the, the light is red, and then you say to me, okay, we want to follow this law, but we don't want the law to be written there. Why? What is the wisdom? It's, it's uh, Allah's choice. You can you can take the. It's not Allah's choice. Chinese. It's the God's choice. The God ate the, the Quran, my friend. Stop saying to me Allah's choice. We, show me where Allah He said, "Don't try the verse of the stoning." G give me give me a reference. What? Give me a reference where Allah He said to you, "Don't try the verse of the stoning." Show me. Don't don't try. What? Uh, Say that again. I didn't hear you properly. I am saying, show me where Allah He said to you, "Don't try this verse on the Quran." It's obviously it's not in the Quran, so it's abrogated. So it's just common sense. Where it says abrogated, it's not in the Quran, so it's obviously abrogated. Where it says abrogated in the Hadith, show me. It's two, you put two and two together, so it's abrogated. Where two and two are together? Where? Show me. What do you mean? It's a, you see, Allah you see, says in the Quran, it's abrogated. You know what? This abrogating story, anyway, it's, it's it's silly for me because your Quran, anyway, it's a corrupt. You, I cannot prove to you that the Quran is corrupt because the Quran itself is a corrupt. You cannot corrupt the corrupt twice. Now, let me ask you what make you? I asked you from the beginning what make you believe the Quran to be the book of Allah? You said the miraculous, and then you failed to give me the miraculous one after one. It became a lie and funny and fiction. I again, I repeat the same question for you give me one thing you are very sure of from to make the Quran look really powerful and prove to me that it's coming from God. Can you do that? There's plenty of things, there's predictions of the future as well. What, like what? Predictions of the future. Like what? So Allah said about the, the there's a war that was going to happen. Allah said um, it'll happen in a certain time. What Allah war? said where? exactly. Where he said, where, what is that? Uh, one minute, let me just pull it out. <laughs> so is is regarding Romans beating I think the Persians okay, or fine, something? Fine, that's fine. So we can laugh together. Let me get some water. Go ahead, take your time. <coughs> So yeah, I found it. Yeah, I found it. Yeah. So the verse is in uh, thirty, Surah thirty, um, one to verse one till six. So this is a prediction of the future that Allah has made, and, uh, and no human could know this. Only Allah could know this. Sorry, I was away. What you said? I said uh, this is a prediction of the future. It's, it's in, uh, I'll tell you the verse now. Mm. It's in um, Surah 30, uh, verse 1 to 6. And this proves, uh, you know, it can't come from a human. This is uh, um, one of the predictions. There's many predictions. This is one of the predictions. No, actually, this is a very funny because this verse proved to us that Muhammad is a false prophet. Read careful with me. This is the chapter of the Roman. Okay, it says. Alif Lam Mim, and if you ask what Alif Lam Mim, mean, you, you do not know. The Roman was are vanquished in the near land, and they, after being vanquished, shall overcome within a few years. In Arabic, it says Bidur Sunni, which means between three to nine. But the Roman, they've been destroyed, as let us say, they lost the war in 614. The Persian, they took over Jerusalem, and the war with the Roman took very very long before they got their land back and they have vanquish or let's say uh, they became victorious against the Persian so if we calculate the numbers of where the Roman they lost the first war 
the Roman, they are fighting the Persian for more than 300 years. So always they lose, they win, they lose, they win. It's a war. The Quran here predict that the Roman will be victorious again. And he used in Arabic the word bit of a And he said something funny that the believer will be happy, which means at this moment, Muhammad, he was considering himself as a Christian because he believed that the Roman are believers and they will be rejoicing. But when Muhammad, he says, in few years, he explained that he is a false prophet because the Roman did not win in nine years period. It took him a lot, took them a lot long. If you go right now to Wikipedia, you can search all the fight between the Persian. Uh, you can search for the siege of Jerusalem. The siege of Jerusalem. You the will siege find, of the... yeah, the siege of Jerusalem. This is when the Roman they took over uh, Jerusalem, and this is what the verse in the in the Quran uh, uh, talking about. So when your prophet he uh, uh, claimed that the Roman they would be victorious in a few years, simply he get himself busted because he mentioned. No, no, he he got it right. You were right. It was no, uh... my friend, because he used the word Buddha. Do you know what Buddha means? Yeah, so it was three to nine years. So he okay, um, and okay, how so how him, okay how long time. okay how long it took the Roman to take back their land? But no, he was talking about the defeat of the Persian Empire. My friend, no problem. He's talking about the defeat of exactly. He was talking about the defeat of the Persian Empire. That's wonderful. Now, how long it took the Roman? after they lost jerusalem to defeat the persian empire yeah it says here in 1615 a.d um the of the person in charge of persia attacked byzantine and controlled the syria palestine and north africa mm. and he ransacked the jerusalem set fire to the mm. holy sepulcher and destroyed numerous cities mm. when the when the roman they were able to take back their city and the uh, victorious final battle with the with the Persian. Yeah, this was 16, uh, 615 AD. 1615 is the last fight between the Roman and the Persian? I'm not sure if that's the last fight, but what I'm saying this was uh, <laughs> when they, they got control of Syria, Palestine and North Africa. No, my friend, who is the one take control? Who is the one take mm -hmm. control? Who is the one take control? The person who is called Khusru uh, Parvis. No, who is the one who took control? Is the Roman or the 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 uh, the Persian? Um. So the Romans, huh? Uh, no, it was the the Romans have been defeated. Okay, so. the year, which year the Roman been defeated? Let's go to back to zero. Which year the Roman was defeated? It was a six hundred six hundred twenty four AD. Mm -hmm. By who? Uh, I'm not sure by who was it. Okay. Is it okay if we go and read the interpretation for you? By who? By your scholars. Yeah, it depends which scholars. Which is color you like? Which one is your favorite? We have all colors. Tafsir Ibn Kathir, you can go on that. Ibn Kathir, that's wonderful. Here we go. You like Ibn Kathir, we go to Ibn Kathir. So we go to chapter 30, Ibn Kathir. Do you see uh, my screen? Yeah, yeah. Okay. This ayat were revealed about the victory of Shabur, the king of Persia. So who is the king who was at that time? 
Shabur, the king of Persia, over Asham, the great Syria. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. And then he says, at that time, the one who was the king of the Roman is Hercules, the emperor of the Roman. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So now if we go and we find when this person was fighting with the Persian, that will make it simple for you. If we go right now, it says that this king, during his time, the war, it was between the 602 and 628. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Which year those people, they took the land of, uh, or let's say, uh, Jerusalem? Uh, can, you, can you read the screen? <clears throat> so on the screen it says 602 to 628. Okay. So simply, if they lost Jerusalem in 614, and then it took them until 628 to be victorious, is that a few years? Yeah, I'm not sure what's, what, what Bali, whether this is accurate or not. Um, uh, you see, I'm not, you know, I just search and uh, etc. and it's there, you know. I'm not even, I am not a scholar in history. I just search, you can search the same as I did. It says here that in the year 627, Hercules invaded the heartland of Persia. Do you see it? Let me zoom in. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. So the defeat of the Roman happened long after the nine years Muhammad was expecting. No, nah, from from my knowledge, it wasn't. It happened in. What do you uh, mean? What do you mean from your knowledge? What do you mean from your knowledge? From my island. See, here we go. <laughs> So you Muslims, this is the problem. You Muslim, you don't go and study and investigate. Here we go, the internet in front of you. I'm not making things up. You can go and search and check it out. And you will see what happened. And then you will see, it says all oh, this. This is history. This is not a Christian. This is not Jewish. This is not Hindu. A historian, they wrote everything there. And you will find uh, exactly what happened. So based on the history, the, uh, the, the last date of victory of the Persian was in the year 627. As simple as that. Actually, 628. 627, he invade. The war finished, and the, the, the Persian, they surrender. They don't want to have war no more. They accepted the conditions of, of, uh, of the Roman in the year 628. So your prophet gave a false prophecy. No, it wasn't a false prophecy. It is a false I'll prophecy. Here we go, the reference in the front of us. Yeah, like I said, I'll look, I'll look into it more. Okay, you're, you're like okay a my friend, source, okay, my, so. my friend, hold on, hold on. Let me show you as long as you are the one talking about the Roman. Okay? The Roman. <clears throat> your, your prophet, he prophesied about the Roman. And he said that the Roman, they will be the majority of mankind. So the Roman, they will be victorious, and they will be majority of the, the mankind. Read with me carefully. I heard Allah Messenger, uh, uh, peace upon him, saying, as he's saying, the last hour would come when the Roman would form the majority amongst the people. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay. Is that a false prophecy or not? Uh, no idea. It's, it's not false. If what do you mean? Uh, what is, what is, where is the Roman word. now? Where we can find the Roman? There was a uh, Romans not Christians. The Roman are not the Christians. The Roman are Roman, my friend. I am not Roman. <laughs> Roman are people are not. It's not a religion. 
what Arabic word was used for Romans? What? What what word was used for Romans in Arabic? Room. Room. The room. This, this is their name before they became a Christian. They used to be pagan. Their their name is Room. They became a Christian. Their name is Room. The name did not change. The room have nothing to do with the religion. So the Roman have nothing to do with religion. So your prophet here is prophesying that the majority of mankind will become Roman. So here we have two prophecy from your prophet about the Roman, which is false, proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. What's, no, what's the what's what, the description of Romans? That's that's the main my point. friend. So the description of the Roman is the Roman. Roman. The Roman is the Roman. What description of the Roman? This is the description. This is the, they are Roman. They are no, the Roman. How do you define Romans? Huh? The Roman are the Roman. The room. <laughs> now we don't know what who is the Roman. Suddenly now you do not know who is the Roman. You are the one who told me he he, he prophesied about the Roman. Suddenly now you do not know who is the Roman. Yeah, but he is talking about the last hour. My friend, okay, tell me who the are they, the majority of mankind now? Which we can consider Roman. He's talking about the last hour. My he's friend, yes, last hour. He said the last hour will not come until the Roman became the majority of mankind. If we say the Roman are the Italian, Italy is a small country. Egypt have 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 bigger population from Rome right now. So how we can say the Roman they would became the majority of mankind? It depends what he's referring to when he says. Okay, Romans. tell me. You tell me what he's referring to. Here we go. He said the Roman. He did not say the Christians. When you say no Roman, idea. when you, you say ask, the, when uh... you say Roman, no, you have an idea. You are the one who said to me, "You're a prophet." He said the room. Now suddenly we do not know what the room is. It the Quran is your book who says the room. The room is the Roman, is the one who have empire, is called Rome. So no, it depends what he's referring to. Here we go. You keep saying depend what is the first. So so now your prophet he 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 gave us wrong history. What about your prophet? He says that uh, uh, a summary uh, uh, he was in the time of Moses. How your prophet he makes such a mistake? As long as you are talking about history and etc. How a summary was exist in the time of Moses? This is a stupid mistake. Uh, but as I said, what, what, is it a narration? It says here in front of you, if, uh, those, all those verses, it says chapter 20, verse 85, chapter 20, uh, 87, chapter 20, 95, he's speaking about the person, he's called the Samaritan. The Samaritan, he spoke to Moses. And how in the world this has happened? Your prophet, he do not know history. He is making things up and he is exposing himself and everybody who, who, who read this, he laugh. This is this is beyond the stupidity. This is not only a mistake. This is stupid. It's like saying no, to you, 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 you know, you'll you'll imagine, stupid, imagine, you imagine. I say to you now, Trump. He he spoke to Hercules. People will laugh at me. What does Samaritan have to do with Moses? Summary is a, is a phrase used by Quran to refer to a re rebellious follower of Moses. No, the summary is our summary. Our people, my friend. The summary are people. They are people. A summary is I one just, of the people. They are they are people who group. And they they are named this way for a reason. You can go and search. So when you're a prophet, he say that the summary he spoke to Moses and the people of Moses, then that's that's silly and that's stupid. Now, as if, a silly and stupid. Yes, it is silly because this is not the time. It's the same as when he said that Haman, he was the minister of Pharaoh. Haman was not in the uh, Egyptian. Haman was an Iraqi. Was a uh, Haman a title? Haman is a name, not a title, according to the Quran. And this is uh, not an Egyptian. The Quran even speak about the Pharaoh. He ordered Haman to build the Tower of Babel, or Babylon, in Egypt. But the, the the Tower of Babylon is in Iraq, not in Egypt. The Pharaoh said to Haman, "Build for me a tower so I can see the God of Moses." But this is not about this is not about the Pharaoh. This is about the the Babylon. <laughs> your your God is messed up. God, everything in the history. Your God, he said that Mary is the sister of Aaron. Mary is not the sister of Aaron. When the Muslim, when, when the Jews they get Muhammad busted, he said, "Oh, they used to call them by their great ancestor." But Aaron, yeah, so yeah, but, that, but, that's but, a, but, explanation. But, but Mary, she is not from the ancestor of Aaron. She is not from the same tribe. But look, this is what happened. Moses and Aaron, they have a sister. Her name is Maryam. If I ask you, 
What is the name of the father of Musa's according to Islam? <coughs> Can you search Google? Abu. What is the name of the father of Musa's according to Islam? <laughs> um. I'm not sure in Islam. Search, search, search. I can give you the answer, but I, I want you to find it yourself. The name of the father of Moses, according to Islam, is Amran. Search. Yeah, it's yeah, it's coming up as Amran. No, no, no. I want, you, uh... I want you to find it yourself. I don't want you to be to say could be. I want you to be sure. I don't want you to say I'm making things up. I want you to be sure that this is what it says. Did you find it? Um, it, no, you're showing in it's in the Bible. It says Amram. No, in the Bible it's not. Um, in the Bible, it says in the Jewish scripture, the father of Moses and Harun is Amram in Exodus. Amram, uh, not Amram. Amram. So as you see, you're a prophet. He went from the from the Jewish book. He found that there's a guy. He is the father of Moses. His name is Amram, but he thought it is Amram. So he told the Muslims that Mary is the daughter of Amran and Moses is the son of Amran and Aaron is her brother. How he is a prophet of God and he makes such a stupid thing. So you send the letter. It's not about the letter only. He makes the name because both of them, let us say, let us say the name was not Amran in the Bible, was Amran. This is a mistake for first of all about the name, but no problem, let it go. But how your prophet make Amran or Umran, the father of Mary and the father of Moses in the same time. And how he say that Mary is the sister of Aaron. How he is God, but he makes such a mistake. It's, it's uh, basically a family, so the, it's like a family My tree. Friend, they, are, they are not from the same family. What family? There's thousands of years be, 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 between them. The same father they have the, for Mary is the same father of Moses? So it's basically a piety of family tree where they all uh, my friend they are not out. even from the same tribe mary is not from the tribe of Moses. what family so there's hundreds and hundreds of years be, be, uh, be between them they are not even from the same tribe and then suddenly harry uh, mary she became the sister of aaron how this happened and amran is the father of mary and the father of Moses and the father of aaron What do you say, my friend? Um, I don't really have knowledge on this to comment. Okay, let me show you some reference. This is the book Al Kamil fi Tariq, by written by Ibn Al Athir, the serious scholar. Volume number one, page number one fifty. The story of Musa's peace upon him. He is Musa, the son of Umran. Do you see it? Mary in the Quran, she is the daughter of Umran. And she is the sister of Aaron. And Aaron is the brother of Musa. <laughs> All right, my friend. Anything else you want to show me to prove the Quran? Until now, you failed to prove me anything about the Quran to be from God. Everything you said to me, it was a disaster. Do you have something more? Something stronger than what you have? 
There's plenty of things. Like um, one of the what do you call it? There's no co contradictions in the Quran. There's no contradiction in the Quran. Is that right? No. Okay. Well, let us see if this is true. Which one Allah created first? The trees or the stars? The trees, the grass, the substance, the water, or the or the stars? <laughs> uh, don't know. And try. Um, no, no, maybe stars. Maybe the stars. Okay. Well, according to you, Allah created first the earth, right? Oh, sorry, the, the stars, the, the sky. No, uh, from the two you just gave me. Which which one Allah created first? What, from the two options you just gave me. Okay, which one he created first? When you say the stars before the water, so what does that mean? No, I don't get your point. What, what do you mean? So the trees or the stars? Okay, which one? The first thing Allah He created first. In chapter the two, first I, thing. I, I will help you. I will help you. In chapter two, verse number twenty-nine, it says, "It is He who created for you that all in earth, and then He turned to the heaven, and He fashioned it as seven heavens." So based on this verse, what Allah created first? No, Allah created something else before that. Huh? Allah created something else before that. What is that? There's a it's a difference of opinion between the scholars. Some say it was a pen, some say it was water. We, we, uh, have, some Quran, say it was we have Quran. There, there, is there anywhere in the Quran that says Allah created first pen? No, and the, okay. even even in this verse, it doesn't say created no first. But no, here it says no. It says it is He who created for you all that in earth. Then, then He turned to the heaven and He made them seven heavens. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So everything in the earth created, and then he work in the heaven. Yes. Um, is he created for you all lies in the heaven? Then he is turned. Then turned to the heaven and fashioned it as seven heavens. It's not necessarily it's going to be in order, Lala. So it could be just Allah's telling us that. This is how he did it. I know this is how he did it. I'm asking you, my friend. What's wrong? Don't don't be nervous. So, what Allah created all first? The earth, everything in the earth, or everything in the heaven based on this verse? Uh, I'm not sure. So it depends on the my friend, how is it how games, is from my okay, youth. You see, there's no point of me talking to you. If you want to play games, I mean don't don't tell me you're not sure. The verse in the front of you, it's very simple. It says, He it is he who created for you all that in earth. Then he turned to the seven to heaven and made them seven. So what do you mean there is not sure? Depends depends on what, what does Okay, it my mean friend, here, thank you. Uh, depends for, for 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 your game. I'm not I'm wasting my time. Mari ikut Yesus. Mari ke jalan yang benar. Tuhan berkati.